a stay hiding behind a fake lease that they forged. Now, Florida Republicans are introducing a new bill that would allow for the immediate removal of squatters by law enforcement. Join us now is the victim of those squatters, Florida landlord Patty Peoples, along with Florida State Representative Kevin Steele. Both of you, welcome to the show. We appreciate you guys joining us. Patty, I want to go to you first. Tell us a little more about your story of what happened with these squatters getting in your house and why you couldn't get them removed by law enforcement. Sure. Well, we had the house up for sale, and one morning I received a call from a handyman who was doing some work there that there were dogs on the front porch. And when I went over there to see what was going on, I found uh, two women and their toddlers had broken into the house and had set up residence. I called the police, and they very quickly deduced that these were individuals that were uh, repeat squatters. And he also informed me that he was pretty certain that they were squatting yet again, but because they showed a fraudulent lease that was even unsigned, because they had a document, he, as a police officer, could not deduce himself whether or not that was a legitimate lease agreement, and that the only group that could do that was the civil court system. Mm -hmm. So these squatters mm -hmm. stayed in the house rent-free for 34 days and did about $40,000 worth of retaliatory damage before they skulked out in the middle of the night after an eviction notice was placed. So, so I'm very grateful that we now have some legislation that's being proposed by both the representative and the senator in the state of Florida to, to address this very significant statewide issue and, in fact, nationwide issue. It is, um, Representative Kevin Steele. We have talked to other people who've experienced the exact same thing in other states, and it was just simple tweaks, notarized lease or proof of rent payment, boom. A absolutely. You know, uh, and thank you for having me on the show, first of all. Um, basically, squ squatting or squatters is burglary and theft. Yes. And, and the idea that we have to go through the court system to remove these people is, is astonishing to me. And, and the whole doctrine of adverse possession, which, you know, is another portion of this bill that we're bringing in, might be the most ridiculous law that we have on the books in every state. Uh, the idea that somebody can adversely possess your property is mind-boggling to me. So I'm, I'm using common sense along with the senator, uh, Senator Perry, uh, to bring in uh, what we feel is a good piece of legislation that's going to change the state of Florida uh, from, from that perspective. We're going to abolish adverse possession altogether. Uh, we're going to require a notarized lease agreement. Uh, we're going to require proof of payment in the past 60 days. And... and make it a crime for them to falsify documentation and adversely possess somebody's land. Um, at the same no notion, Senator Perry, I didn't even know this was running something similar to my bill. Uh, so we're bringing those two things together and, and his allows law enforcement to remove the person immediately. Uh, and it requires the sheriff to notify them on the spot that they have to you know, vacate the property and then it allows the landowner to, to, you know, have the police officer stay there to make sure that it's a civil removal of the person. Mm -hmm. And we have crimes of uh, at least criminal damage to property, $40,000 worth of damage. Hopefully law enforcement in your community uh, holds these squatters to the fullest extent of the law. Um, Kevin, I think it's great when you see one of your constituents who uh, sees how the law doesn't work for them, that you find a solution that's going to work for not just Patty, but everyone in Florida. Uh, good for you. We appreciate you both coming on and telling your story. Um, Patty Peoples and Representative Kevin Steele, thank you.